One of the great things about my life and about my work, which are the same thing really, um, is that I get to meet all kinds of people, and people at every level, and people in all kinds of businesses, and actors, and people in, who do different things with their lives. Um, and by chance, last week, I met a director of the Central Bank, a pretty important job. And we chatted away about life and possibility and what you could do, and we came up with some ideas and things that one might do. And he said, but what about the people who have no choice? And he meant the little people, people who don't have a company car, people who don't have £60,000 and a big house in Fox Rock. And I said, what people have no choice? Who are you talking about? He said, well, you know, people who are in jobs they hate. And I said, they have a choice all the time, all the time. Every minute of your life, you have choice. Every second, every instant, you have choice, right? And he said, no, 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 they have to work. And I said, no, 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 they might choose to work in a job they hate. And they might choose to spend what little money they have going out on Friday together and having beer and complaining to one another about how awful the job is and how awful the boss is. But that's a choice. The only time you don't have a choice is when they're actually nailing you to the cross. When there are two guys hammering nails into your hands and two guys hammering nails into your feet. And even then, you have a choice. Because you have a choice to forgive them. You have a choice to be a victim. You have a choice to feel the pain. You have a choice to think about your last supper. <laughs>